In today's video, we're gonna to continue to talk about how to break free from pornography. More specifically, we're gonna talk about how you get an accountability partner. We're gonna be talking about what you need to be on the lookout for as you seek an accountability partner to help you break free from pornography. All that coming up, let's get it. Yo, what's up everybody? This is James Howard Jr. and you're tuned in to another episode of Nuggets with Jr. We're gonna be talking about things you need to be looking for in your accountability partner so that they can help you break free from pornography. The first thing is they first have to be free themselves. You need somebody who's at least a few steps ahead of you to help pull you out of this mess. I mean, one of the biggest mistakes I made as I was trying to become free from pornography is partnering with friends who were struggling as well. It really didn't help me. It just turned into, man, you too? Yeah, man, yeah, yeah, man, I feel you, bruh. I feel you. And that was it. We both were struggling. We were both in the same hole. We were both in the same boat. So there's no way that we can help each other because we were both drowning. So you need somebody who's a couple steps ahead of you who can help pull you out of that mess. And here's, here's the thing, y'all. Here's the thing. If you're watching this video and you, you're a little bit older, that person may not necessarily be older than you. So make sure that you keep your mind and your eyes and your heart open to the fact that there may be somebody out there who can really help you out, who can really hold you accountable, who may not be the person that's in your mind. Just saying. Next, you have to find somebody who ain't scared of you, basically. Someone who can look you in your face, ask you the hard questions. Have you looked at pornography? What you been doing? You need somebody who can be real, not somebody who's rude, not somebody who's mean, but somebody who's stern and somebody who's gonna stand their ground and not waver when things get difficult. Because here's the thing about an accountability relationship, y'all, it's gonna get tough. It's gonna get hard and you're probably gonna get frustrated with this person. You're probably gonna get mad with this person and they have to be able to stand their ground and say, no, God wants more from you and I'm the person that's gonna help you get there. And they have to stand on that flat footed and not be scared of you, not be scared. You can't be scared, you just can't be, no. Anyway, all right. The next thing, the next characteristic that you need in an accountability partner if you're gonna break free from pornography is you need somebody who truly cares about you. Somebody who truly cares about you becoming better. Someone who truly cares about your heart. You becoming the man of God that God is calling you to be. So here's the thing, if you have somebody who don't really care about you, when things get tough, man, they gon' they gonna push off the meetings. They gonna say, ah, man, I don't really wanna talk to them. Ah, man, it's too difficult, it's too hard. No, you need somebody who truly cares about you and helping you get to where God wants you to be. The next thing that you need in an accountability partner if you're gonna break free from pornography is trust. Is that person someone you can trust? Straight up, listen, you're gonna be telling this person your deepest, darkest secrets. You need to know you can trust this person, right? Are they a person who kind of just go around kind of telling everybody business? Yeah, you know I'm helping them out with that pornography thing, right? Yeah, man, you know, he be struggling, you know, you know, that's, that's, yeah, he be struggling. Here's a tip, if they telling you somebody else's business, you better believe they probably go tell somebody else your business, all right? So be careful, don't be in a rush to find an accountability partner. Find somebody that you can trust, somebody who can hold water, somebody who can really be honest and real with you and really keep your secret a secret. This may not be easy, which leads me to my last point. You have to bathe all four of these things in prayer. This is not something that's gonna be a light jog. This is gonna be a marathon. And you need somebody to partner up with you, somebody who's gonna run with you, somebody who's gonna be there with you when times get hard. And you need that person to have that strength of God behind them that is gonna help them stick with you until they see you free. And you need to just bathe this thing in prayer. 
All right, y'all, that's all I have for you today. Don't forget, y'all, this is part of the Man to Man series. We have Man to Man conversation about real things to help us to become the men that God is calling us to be. So if you don't want to miss any of these, you have to make sure that you are subscribed. Go ahead and hit the like button. Go ahead and, and leave a comment down below because we're going to help each other out down on those comments. And ladies, again, don't forget, just because this is a Man to Man series doesn't mean that you can't be a part of it because I'm sure you have a man in your life, whether it be your husband, whether it be your son, whether it be your cousin or whatever it is who needs to hear this stuff. Well, until next week, y'all be blessed. Peace.